Alrighty folks, so here's a little tutorial on how to make some threads. It's going to be simple threads. You're going to need to do some of your own measurements to get these right. Um, but that's kind of the fun of designing. So let's say I've got this simple um, cylinder right here. Oops, dang it. There we go. And I want to thread along the outside of this. Same principle would hold for the um, a cylinder that I want to thread on the inside of. Uh, yeah, on the inside up. So what I want to do is I'm going to drop a work plane down the middle of this uh, thing in particular. And I am on my Amazon workspace, so things are, I'm recording through an Amazon workspace, so it's not as maybe fluid as I would like, but we can kind of roll with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the origin, we see which plane I want to be perpendicular, or parallel to, sorry. And I see, ah, that's a very nice plane, that YZ plane. So I'm going to come here, offset from plane. I always like this offset from plane option. I feel like it gives me enough control to do what I want with, and I click OK. Now I'm going to start a sketch on that plane itself there. And then I know you guys like to slice the graphics if you want. You can go in the background, uh, uh, and it would be... Uh, Slice graphics would be our option, and it's not coming to me as to why I'm not able to do it right now, except that I can't figure out how to click in the background on a Mac in AppStream. So except that we can slice the graphics if we really wanted to. So let's say I want to draw, I'm going to um, do something with a coil off to this edge. So maybe I'm going to, I don't know, pick a circle or something like that. Um, but you don't have to do a circle. You can do any shape you want over here. As long as it's a closed circuit, make sure if you're drawing something off to the side, you close that circuit on it. And I don't know, just for kicks, I'll throw this one down and I will um, finish my sketch from there. So now what I want to do is I'm going to come over here to coil. And I'm going to, oh no, I need an axis. Crumbs. I got to go back to my sketch and figure out where I can put an axis on there. Of course, now I'm not going to be able to figure out how to right-click on this thing to edit it again. Oh, I just did. Thank goodness. Okay. So now I'm going to just take a simple line. And I know, like, here's a good midway for me. So I just can draw a line. And even though, again, I'm not slicing my graphics, so I can't really see my line, I'm having full faith that it's there because I see that green line coming down. Now we can finish that sketch there. And now I'm going to take that coil. I'll come over here. My profile, it kind of automatically selected it, but that's going to be my profile. And then this middle thing is going to be my axis. And you can see some sort of wild co coiling event happened right there. Uh, that looks maybe reasonable. I can slip the rotation that I'm going on. That looks like it's along the side of it, although you may be thinking to yourself, uh, that is really not at all what I would want. No, of course, it's not what you want for a bottle thread you're going to need to come over to coil size and kind of figure out what you're going to do. Um, you've got pitch and revolution, how steep it is, how many times you want to go around. Uh, so maybe like I'm going to do my revolution will be like 2.5. And you can see, um, oh, you can see that adjust as I put that in there. Um, and maybe my pitch, uh, I don't know if I'm going to like pitch. I'm going to go with revolution and height. And I know my piece was about... Uh, the piece was like I think 0.2 inches so maybe my height is only going to be 0.18 or something like that. So now you see oh that's looking a lot more reasonable than it originally did. Um, that coil is actually on the piece itself um, and sized appropriately. You may again feel like happier with pitch and all that sort of thing um, than I am. I feel like revolution and height makes the most sense to me. Um, you know, you could choose a spiral thing. Well, that looked a little wild and really not what we wanted. So maybe we'll stick with revolution and height. I'm not going to taper it. Um, if you play around with taper, you can see what sort of happens. It, it stops fitting to the bottle quite right. So that's not what we would want. And then we can hit OK. And then you can see, oh, well, that worked out pretty small for me as far as like putting a nice little coil around the outside of that. So what you would need to do is you need to get your bottle cap, um, which none I have at home, you need to get your bottle cap, measure the cap, measure how thick the coil or how thick the thread is, make your 
sketch that that thickness and then distance how figure figure out how dis, how big it is apart and stuff like that and that will allow you to make a thread for your cap um, there you go